Uh, here we are taking pictures of our family and friends using Genie's 4x5 view camera. Uh, it takes black and white pictures or color. We take black and white pictures. Uh, this is Jean Bookhammer, her father, sitting for us today. Um, you've been very patient with us so far. How's it going, Jean? <laughs> okay. Um, what, are you doing? what are you doing? Taping this? Yep, we sure where are. You, where, where are you taping it? Jeannie's taping it. Oh, she's taping it. Yep. Um, this is a big, fancy, expensive lens made by Schneider, I believe. This is the front of the camera, this is the back of the camera, where the film cassettes go. Film cassettes go in this uh, little door thing here behind the glass. Go in here like this. It's a real big pain in the neck. You just click it in there like that. And this little gimmick gets pushed aside. And you pull the little film guard out and grab the shutter release and bango there's a picture taken um, as you can see there are almost endless adjustments to this thing the focus knob lens up and down back up and down um, and that's just the camera and then there's three or four adjustments on the tripod um, it's one of the problems we have is trying to get the light adjusted because there's several adjustments on the lens back or up here. This is the, the shutter cock and several adjusting rings here. Uh, it's quite an undertaking to do this. It's, uh, I I guess this camera is a, oh, probably a turn of the century model, renewed. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it's wonderful results. Absolutely wonderful results. Uh, we hope you'll come and see the, the results of our undertaking at Jeannie's show taking place April the 26th at her house in Milton. Uh, we hope to have hundreds of people there. And I'm sure it'll be enjoyed. That's about all I can think of right at the moment. Welcome to Jeannie's Dark Room. We're up here getting ready to develop negatives. Uh, the dark room is set up. Everything on this side of the dark room is dry. This is where we load... Uh, unload the film, take the film out, and in the total dark, there's no light on when that happens. Then we take it over here to the wet side where we put it through a process to develop the film. Today we're going to do 4x5 film, which is a large format camera, view camera, that uh, you would see Ansel Adams using back in the day. Um, once the film is developed, it's rinsed, it's put into this closet, it's hung in the closet here to dry, and then on another day we'll come back to print the, the photos from the negatives. And when we do that, we come around here to the enlarger, and the enlarger can also do several uh, size of film, 35 millimeter, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and four by five. And that also, that process also happens on the wet side. You, you use the enlarger and then you go through the development process on the wet side. Rinse it in the, for, for a lot of time, an hour or so, in the tank, and then they are dry, or wiped dry and left to air dry on the a rack out in the other room. Thank you.
a little hot. And here we are, preparing the dark room to develop four by five film in trays in the pitch black. I'm Stuart. And I'm Shauna. And this is my lovely assistant, Shauna. She's married, by the way. Um, but what goes on in the dark room stays in the dark room. Um, let's see. We, uh, we develop four by five sheets in trays. Uh, two or three at a time. These three are developing trays. There's three of us here. We're going to be developing, I think, eight sheets of film simultaneously. And this is our last chemical bath fixer, which is preceded by just plain old water. We use a lot of just plain old water in this business. Yep. Hi, here we are, back in the lights again. Uh, we just finished developing these pictures. They're sitting in the hypo. They look pretty good. These are my sisters, and this is Shauna's dad. Four by five negatives. They're negative. That means they're the opposite of real life. And from here, they are going into the developer again where they're stained which gives them a little more density and a little and softens up the contrast a little bit as well they go in here for two minutes Gotta treat them gently or they'll scratch and then they're no good. We ro we um, rotate them from top from bottom to top like this. It uh, helps them develop evenly. Otherwise, they turn out all funny, like, and hard to print. And after about a minute, you rotate them a quarter turn, and you keep swishing them around. The actual development process takes 14 minutes. You sit in the pitch black for 14 minutes. And push these things around just like I'm doing here. Okay. Hi, once again we're back in Jeannie's dark room. Um, we just printed these pictures. Shauna and I, this is Shauna's, this is mine, and we are going to try for the very first time to use sepia toner, which is a two-step toner. You bleach the, the image out, and then you run it through the, the developer, more or less, right here, and it changes the appearance of the picture. It gives it a brown tone rather than gray. And I was so fond of this picture that I thought it would look just a little better if it were done in a browner tone rather than a gray tone. So I bothered to reprint it and then we're going to give it a shot. Okay, first step is to bleach out the image. We want to turn out the lights. Yeah. And here they will go okay. in here. So Jeannie, I guess turn on get a chance. And well, here we are. Here's the results of our sepia toning experiment. 
Uh, some turned out great, some turned out not so great. Um, this is the one I'd hoped to turn out really well, and guess what? It didn't. It's not dark enough. It needed to be about twice that dark. But here, Shauna's picture turned out really nice. Now that looks like good results to me. This one's a little better. That's almost dark enough. I didn't realize it would turn so yellow. This is really surprising. Oh well. It was an interesting experiment. We'll have to try it again sometime when we know what we're doing. That's photography. Mm. Well, if you'll come to our show, you'll see more sepia tone experiments and other exciting things. Hi, here we are, a little further along. Um, after, well, this is where the prints are dried on these screen things. Um, there's about 20 of them pile up over here in this little wooden frame thing. And this is a dry mount press. It's electric. It kind of gets warm. I guess a couple hundred degrees. And you scoot your photographs and whatever you're going to mount them to in there. Drop it down for a few minutes. And then presto changeo. There's your mounted prints. If we were going to frame them we would do that right here. Um, we like to solder pictures, and if I could show it to you, we like to stamp them also. This little desk is full of our correction stuff. If, it, if our photographs have specks and hairs all over them, we get out the little paints and try to correct them as best we can. Um, that's the basics of photography right there. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the film. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh yes, and my lovely assistant, Sean. <laughs> You're the lovely assistant, yes. <laughs>